Hey YouTube, so today I finally got my iRobot Roomba 690. I've had these, uh, I think this is my third Roomba that I have. I had the uh, iRobot Roomba 561 previously. I've had that for about four or five years. And I've gotten pretty good use out of it. It's a pretty big box. But I thought it was time to upgrade and I really like this one or I'm excited for the features that this one has, especially they finally uh, added uh, Wi-Fi control. Now there's an app that you can use to remotely start it. And it also has built-in Alexa support. So uh, you can start it with your voice using Alexa. That should be pretty cool. And also just to schedule it and control it from outside of your house. So that was Alexa in the background. All right, so let's take a quick look here at the Roomba 690. Let's try a little manual here. Roomba. Bring back your second take the box out. Okay, this is your typical charging station that you get with these. Nothing new here. Comes back to this when it's done. And we have a box here. All right, so we have your typical charging cable. This is one of the beacon towers to keep it out of a certain area. A couple batteries. A little filter for the vacuum. Seems to have changed the design. And then a cleaning tool. All right, so these are all the accessories and everything that you get with the Roomba. Once again, this is the Roomba 690. And yes, this is indeed a beacon that you can use to keep the Roomba out of certain places. Very pretty cool. Let's take a look at the actual Roomba device. Alright. It's pretty slick. Feels pretty light. Feels about the same as the other one that I have. Got the same spinning brush. The only thing that I see different is the filter. And you know, I haven't really had a new one in about four or five years. I'm gonna put it to the test here and show you the app setup and demo it here. Uh, just turned on the other light as I started to move the wheels. So I'm going to charge it up, show you the app, show you how it works, show you it in action. Alright, so here's my Roomba 561 that I'm going to replace, that I'm going to be replacing with the new Roomba. Alright, so as you can see, it still works. I'm actually going to sell it on eBay. That's what I usually do when I'm done with these. You can probably sell it for 100 or 150 bucks. It still works, but... I had to replace the battery and the spinning isn't as fast as it used to be. Or, yeah, it's barely, barely spins anymore. But it still does work for a little, you know, it helps me out, but it was time for an upgrade. And I'll show you. I'm going to have a power brick for the new one. So that's definitely makes, as I said earlier, installing it somewhere out of sight a lot easier now. Uh, we don't have to worry about that brick, so that's really cool. Everything else just looks like an upgrade that you would expect. I mean, there, there have been models that have been released in between these two. One thing I did notice just by feeling it is that this one seems to have more flexibility. It seems like it's chassis and it might be more advanced. It feels like it can maybe go over obstacles a little easier than this one. It doesn't really move up that much or wiggle like this one just feels like it's like a monster truck 
Now, given this one's older, might have a lot of debris that, that's limited its mobility, but still something nice um, to point out. All right, so one more thing I wanted to do here, I just uh, remembered. I'm going to show the other side and also show you the different bin and filter, which is the, one of the major differences I notice. So you, as you can see, pretty much the same standard design. I'll show you the bins here. This is a used bin. I need to empty that out, but at least that gives a real, real example. Now let me see if I can get this one off. I'm not as familiar with it. This one just opens up. There's all your debris. And then you can't see the filter. It's actually snapped off right there. But I'll show it to you in a second. I'm going to empty that out and show you. All right, so I just emptied that out. It was pretty dirty. So as you can see, it's still doing its job and picking up dirt. This is what it looks like now that I've emptied it out. And you can remove this here and you can rinse that off and use it again. Right, so that, that was the old one. And now here's the new one. I have to figure out. Okay, so that opens up like that. And this I think just slides out. Alright, so there is the newer design. Now I don't know if this is new specifically to this model or if this is a new design that's already been implemented, but there is a difference. All right, so I just wanted to show that. Everything else seems to be comparable, although I did feel the shocks were a little different on the 690. Okay, here comes the- I'll take a look at the iRobot app. This is my first time using it, so I just wanted to show you what to expect when you're setting up this device let's take a look all right so currently I have the iRobot Roomba 690 charging and I've launched the app I've gone through a previous setup screen here logged in with my account and everything so once you do that I'm gonna do this uh, searching for robots let's go to set up a new Roomba all right so guides you here to uh, connect it All right, ask you to remove that yellow insert, which I did earlier. All right, wanted me to make sure it's connected and powered on. We saw that it said uh, had a flashing battery icon, so that should be all set. Okay, so it wants me to charge it for three hours and I'm not there yet. So I'll come back here uh, when I've done that and continue the setup. All right, so let's set it up. It's asking me to confirm that I'm connected to my home network. I am, so I'll hit continue, or that that's the one that I'm going to connect to, so continue. Okay, so it's asking for my password. I'm going to input this and continue here in a moment. All right, so I put in my password, and then I see it has an option here for advanced options. I'm not going to really use any of those right now, but if you want to set up like a static IP address and all of that, you can do that. I'm just going to go ahead and hit continue. All right, so it actually wants me to uh, press uh, some buttons here on the Roomba. All right, so I've pressed both of those home and uh, clean button, I think it is, or the other one. I don't know what it means or what it's labeled, but it's got the circle with the crosshairs. Continue. All right, so it wants me to go to my Wi-Fi and look for the Roomba. There it is, although some somebody in my neighborhood has named one of their Wi-Fi networks Icon Roomba, but I think we're looking for the one at the bottom that says Roomba, so connecting to that. It's got a pretty strong signal, and I'm about two rooms away. You can actually hear it speaking from the other room to come back here and go to Wi-Fi settings. It automatically goes to step five. All right, so 
I corrected my password. I had put it in incorrectly. Setup is complete. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and personalize my Roomba. I'm gonna add the model number to the name. Everything else looks good. Today is May 8th, that's its birthday. All right, now it took me back to the main screen here. I'm gonna launch it again. All right, so there it looks like it's good to go. It's got a couple options in the bottom. It's explaining everything. Different icons. All right, so I'm gonna play with this. Looks like the schedule's down there. Got some more options, the settings. You can apparently locate the Roomba. So I'm gonna run a couple of uh, more uh, tests on it and set it up with Alexa, and then I'll come back and uh, show you that. All right, everybody. So I've gone ahead and installed the iRobot skill on my Amazon Echo. And I'm set up. I'm going to go ahead and ask it to start the cleaning here. So let's see how that works. Alexa, ask Roomba to start cleaning. All right, so there it goes. That's pretty fucking cool. So that's what's great about this. You can do it with your voice and also with the app. So you can have this on a schedule to run when you're not home, or you can also start it remotely from the app. So right away, I can tell that it's a lot quieter than the model that I've had. I'm not really worried about those cables right there. It's already a lot quieter and you can see it almost the shocks that this one has are a lot better than the previous one you can already see that the brush is spinning you can't even hardly see it but that's how it's supposed to look not like my old one where you can hardly tell once in a while it will bump into things but this one seems to have see how it slows down right there with the proximity sensor it seems to be a little more sensitive than the previous one So you get the idea for any crumbs or pet hair, things like that, it's a great vacuum cleaner. All right, so I hope this video was informative. If you enjoyed it, if you found something here that you liked, please hit the like. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one.